student today i am going to explain you the first chapter of standard 6 that is number system in number system the topic which i will explain today is how to write the large number in words so before that you have already studied in the previous class the natural numbers you know all the counting numbers are natural numbers means 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on are called the natural numbers and all the natural numbers together with zero is called whole numbers so the smallest natural number is 1 and the smallest whole number is zero now for writing the large numbers in words there are two system of numeration first one is indian system of numeration and the other is international system of numeration if i am taking one example for this this large number 45752617 so in indian system of numeration by this place value chart you can see that how you will write this in words so here in the place value chart you can see that the periods are here hundreds period thousands period lakhs period and crore period hundred period is divided in three parts that is ones place tens place and hundreds place thousands period is divided in two parts thousands place and ten thousands place lakhs period is also divided in two parts lakhs and 10 lakh and crore period is also divided in two parts that is crore and 10 crore so this large number is occupied in this place value chart as here 7 is occupied as at ones place 2 is occupied at tens place 1 is occupied at hundreds place then 6 is occupied at thousands place Two is occupied at ten thousands place. Five is occupied at lakhs place. Seven is occupied at ten lakhs place. Five is occupied here at crore place, and four is occupied at ten crore place. So in words, you can write this large number as forty-five crore seventy-five lakh twenty-six thousand. One hundred twenty-seven. So after each period, you have to give a comma for writing this in numerals and in words. You can write this as here it is written. In international system of numeration, if I am taking the same number for writing in words in this system of numeration. you can see by the place value chart of this international system of numeration that is here the hundreds period is divided in three parts that is same as the indian system of numeration that is ones place tens place and hundreds place but the thousands period is divided in here three parts that is thousands ten thousands and hundred thousands place same as millions period and billions period is also divided in three three parts that is million 10 million 100 million and billion 10 billion 100 billion places now here this number is occupied as 7 is occupied at ones place 2 is at tens place 1 is at hundreds place then 6 is at thousands place 2 is at 10 thousands place 5 is at 100 thousands place 7 is at millions place 5 is at 10 million place and 4 is at 100 million place so this large number is written in the international system of numeration as 457 million 526 127 now student i am explaining how to write the numbers in expanded form i have taken one example here the na the large number is here 
in indian system of numeration you can write this number as 7 crore 56 lakh 24308 you can see that 7 is at crores place 5 is at 10 lakh place 6 is at 1 lakh place 2 is at 10 thousands place 4 is at thousands place 3 is at hundreds place 0 is at tens place and 8 is at ones place so when we are writing this large number in expanded form you have to write down that face value of that digit and multiply it with the place value of that digit plus then the number next number is multiplied with the place value of that digit and so on as here 7 is at crores place so 7 is the face value of that number is multiplied with here crore 1 crore is there you can see that 7 zeros are there in 1 crore. Then 5 is at 10 lakhs place. So 5 is the face value of that digit and it is multiplied with the place value that is 10 lakh. Plus 6 is at lakh place. So 6 is multiplied with 1 lakh here. Then 2 is at 10 thousands place. So 2 is multiplied here with 10,000. 4 is at thousands place. So 4 should be multiplied with 1000. Then plus 3 is multiplied with the place value of 3 that is 100. Then 0 is also multiplied with the place value of that 0 that is your 10. And plus 8 is multiplied with the place value of 8. It is here 1. So, in expanded form, this large number can be written as this. You can see the another example. This large number is 6153087. In Indian system of numeration, you can write this number in words as 61,53,080. So, you can see the place value of the digit is the number itself always. And the, the place value of that number is at which place it will lie. As in this number, 6 is at 10 lakh place. So, 6 is multiplied with 10 lakh. 1 is at 1 lakh place. So, between two uh, expanded numbers you have to give a plus sign and then one is multiplied with one lakh then five is at ten thousand place so five is multiplied with ten thousand then again plus three is multiplied with one thousand that is the place value of three then zero is multiplied with hundred that is the place value of that zero and then plus 8 is multiplied with 10 that is the place value of that 8 and plus 7 is multiplied with 1 that is the place value of that digit 7. So in expanded form you can write the number as written here. So I think student you are not having doubt in writing any of the large number in expanded form. Now you should compare any of the two large numbers. How you should compare? Here is the rules given here. Comparison of the numbers. The rule one is the number with less digits is less than the number with more digits. Means the if two numbers are given and one having the more number of digits and one having the less number of digits then the number which is having more digits is always greater than the number which is having the less digit. You can see it by an example. Example number 1 is here. The two numbers is here given here. Here 2579 or 327. Which one is greater you have to find out. So you can see the first number is having 4 digits. And the second number is having only 3 digits. So it is very clear that 
the number having the four digit is always greater than the number having the three digit but the rule 2 you can see that if you have to compare the two numbers having the same number of digits then how you should compare here the steps are given how you should compare the numbers the step 1 is first compare the first place digit that is the leftmost place digit of both the numbers you can see it by the example i have given here as example number 2 among these two large number which is greater this is here 96853 and then 96835 so the leftmost place digit of both the number is here 9 so 9 and 9 if you have to compare these two then both are equal so what you should do in the second step in step 2 if they are equal in value then compare the second place digit second place digit means after this first place digit you have to compare the second place digit and you have to find out which one is greater so you can see that both are in the second place digit are here 6 and 6 which are equal so in this step also you can't find that which one is greater so come to step 3 that is if they are also equal then compare the third place digit for comparing the third place digit in these two numbers you can see that the third place digit is here 8 and here also the third place digit is 8 so you can't compare here also because both are equal so come to the step number 4 continue the process until you can find the greater place digit that means after the third place you have to see the fourth place digit so fourth place digit you can see here here it is 5 and here it is 3 so 5 is greater than 3 so that means this number is greater than this number so at the fourth step you have concluded that this number 96853 is greater than 96835 now students you understand whatever the topics i have explained today so i have to give some of the assignment for doing you as the homework now this is your homework this is your homework number one whatever the topic explained you today these questions as are related to that topics only you have to do these questions in your maths copy so you should start now doing your questions and that should be neat and clean the copy must be neat and clean do your homework